I am a choreographer, um, but dance for me is a, is a language. And I think that I choose subjects that I care for. Um, and I feel that this is the only language I can talk about it or I can understand it. And of course, there is like always an activistic voice, but it feels to me that if I try to say it or write it, it I, I will get, I will feel muted rather than try to translate it to the body. I will feel much more liberating. And I think that in subject like climate change, it's very important to find liberation because it's overwhelming, it's very dark. Connecting to our body is actually a very useful tool. The figure of eight in relation to the tempo of the seasons and the climate, the forest, the figure of circle, thinking of planet, the body moving in circle, healing our body in a circle. Always when we have tension, make a circle, make a circle, let your blood circulate, let the information flow around you. This organic flow of tied in, tied out is within our body, but it's also within our planet. It's in the sea, it's in the desert. Generation Z is environmental research that put the body as the center of the climate subject. But also putting the future generation, Generation Z, as the thing that uh, I wanted to focus on the most. So I used this year to research with different communities, with students, with different academics, and uh, with a variety of artists, the subject of climate change. And I all the time wanted to put our body in the center of this practice, our physical body. The body as a planet and the body as a home. Dr. Sarah Fine and myself have been working together for over five years, I think. Our practice started with the question of migration and borders and maps. And the subject of home kept repeating itself through the practice, through our practice about migration, but also through our practice about climate. Somehow it felt like the journey from migration to climate was always holding the aspect of home. And if we would not have researched so carefully what is home, we couldn't have approached to the climate question. It started with the physical workshops before COVID that we did at King's with different uh, student groups. Uh, we looked at time and seasons. We looked at the body as a planet, the body as home, people, pollution and population. So we, we've revisited those three subjects. I invited other artists, other multimedia artists from different fields and we shared those contacts with the uh, with students. We were moving together in the space. Most of those students doesn't have physical background, so it was also really a new experience for everyone in the room. They took us back home, those students. I feel like they took me back home back to the body, um, they challenged me a lot. And they showed me very critical, but hopeful approach 
to the climate conversation. I think there is a lot to learn from Generation Z. Rather than dismissing, there is a lot we can learn from them. Um, their activistic approach, their way of uh, rebuilding new systems, and the way that they think about our planet and they practice that, those thoughts. Um, this is something that I would really carry with me. Life is movement. Movement is life giving. This research period with Kings allowed me to reach beyond and, and branch research to a different direction with different communities. You have to study things about life. Kadisha is a film that was uh, produced and commissioned by The Place, our, our second partner to this climate series, um, with a beautiful woman that is uh, based in the desert in Dimona, eight years old, um, that taught us a lot about life and living process. What I really learn in this research is the importance of collaboration. And when you talk about climate, the multidisciplinary is very important, but also the conversation is very important. Feeding into one another and learning how to work together. So after working with lots of uh, students and working in the desert and, um, and also worked with the composer of the project Liran Donin in Beijing with a beautiful Generation Z group, we started a Dance Number no. Two Degrees, which is the show and the production of this uh, work. Dance number two degrees basically bring this research into the stage um, and really look at time and this figure of eight as an element of time when you talk about climate. Um, it takes us to the environment, it visits the desert, into the sea and back to the desert. And it really highlights the generation element, the future generation element. Dance number two um, is an environmental show, but it really feels like at the end it speaks about our home. It speaks about humanity in our home and it goes, it touches the environment from a very physical way. When you see the show, uh, it's funny how everything really came into this show. Um, on one hand, the, the element of the tempo of climate now, the seasons, what is the meaning of the seasons, how we go between one extreme to another, desert and sea, summer and winter, like those extremes are living in one place. This is an element that came a lot from the research with the, with the philosophy department, like those two extremes. And that's what created the narrative of the show. On the other hand, Kadisha, the, the woman we shot the film within the desert, she, she's a little bit the storyteller. She's the voice behind the show. The voices of Generation Z, they are holding, they, they are the people, they are holding, the, they are in the physical language, but they are also in this message of hope 
alongside message of something raw, something that's happening, something real. Generation Z gives you a feeling that something is real happening. They're not coloring it in this marketing package. It's like raw, it's real, it's straightforward. And that is like, that is like really in the physical language. I think it's, there is a lot to learn from Generation Z and at the end what I learn as well <laughs> is that the future generation, the generation that comes after Generation Z is Generation Alpha. So there is a new beginning starting and perhaps that's an opportunity to rethink, restart and take care of our home. Mom.